In this video, I will give a rough real-world analogy between Kubernetes and a real-world scenario. So, let's say you have you own a house and you rent it out through Airbnb to earn some extra money. So, uh, what happens in that case? So. Uh, from time to time some guests will come to your house and you need to ensure that uh, There is somebody who can hand over the keys to them so that I can enter the they can enter the house Also, once they leave you have to ensure that someone cleans the house So let's say you employ two employees to take care of these situations. So one of them always ensures that he is uh, at the house at the right time to hand over the keys and the other person he ensures the room is clean when uh, when the guest leaves so everything goes according to plan until let's say one of the employees falls sick on a particular day and in that case you will have to manually find out somebody to replace him right and that's sort of the situation where you would like to avoid on most cases because you know you may hear a phone call at 9 a.m. in the morning from the one of the employees saying that he can't come for his job at 10 a.m. and you just have one hour to figure out who will replace him so wouldn't it be great if you can appoint a manager who will take care of these things so all you would need to do is you specify the manager that okay I need at least two employees all the time and one of them is responsible for handing over the keys another employee is responsible to clean the house and that's it that's all you have to specify the manager and let's say the manager knows enough number of potential employees so that as soon as he finds out that one of the employees cannot Come to work on that day he can easily easily replace and best part the manager is free so this is a rough real world scenario which is analogous to what kubernetes does in the world of uh, applications or in the world of services so let's say you have you are uh, hosting a website for example and you can specify that uh, at least certain number of servers that have to be running or uh, hosting this website and that's it kubernetes will take care of this part and if in case a particular server or machine goes down kubernetes will automatically ensure that another machine goes back up and you wouldn't have to manually take care of these things all you have to do is specify what are your requirements and Kubernetes will take care of it.